Welcome everyone to GamerMelt. Today, Intel's entire Arc GPU lineup leaked, AMD's new phone chip is a beast, Nvidia's actually doing it, and GPU prices are officially going down. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, a newly leaked slide shows Intel's plans for their upcoming Arc GPUs. The story originally comes from Leaker HXL, and as you can see, the slide shows five SKUs. Now, these are apparently mobile SKUs given it says NB for notebook, but this gives us some serious insight into their desktop GPUs as well. For one, we can see that the highest end model is a 512EU model with 16GB of GDDR6, which is exactly what we've seen from leaks. It's also running at 16GB per second across a 256-bit bus. Next is a 384 EU model which comes with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. This one also uses 16 gigabit per second memory but is across just a 192 bit bus. Next is a 256 EU model with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 running at 16 gigabits per second but it only has a 128 bit memory bus. And finally is a 128 EU model and a 96 EU model. Both of these come with 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 at 14 gigabits per second across a 64 bit bus. All in all, this looks to confirm quite a few leaks. I mean, we've been seeing these specs from leaks many months ago, and unless the desktop parts are wildly different, which I highly doubt, the leaks are likely very similar for those parts as well. Of course, it's really about when these come out, and to that, all I can say is, please don't make this another 10 nanometer fiasco. Please. But first, if you're looking for the ultimate solution for your business, trust the place I use for my first ever PC build with today's sponsor. Micro Center, every tech lover's heaven. I mean, they've got everything. I'm talking motherboards, cases, CPUs, and more. And they recently launched their new lineup of business solutions, from getting an Intel or AMD-based pre-built workstation to customizing your own server or workstation, Micro Center has an answer no matter the size of your business. And with over 40 years of experience with the most sophisticated technologies in the world, Micro Center can help you with whatever your business needs are. Their systems are are ready to tackle any task from complex simulations to detailed renderings. Basically, there's no better place to go for your server or workstation needs. Not only that, but I've partnered with Micro Center to bring new customers a free 240GB SSD with no purchase necessary. Just visit the link in the description to pick yours up today. Next up for today, if these benchmarks are right, AMD could power your next smartphone. For those who don't know, a little while back, AMD and Samsung announced the new mobile chip called Exynos 2200, which is powered by an RDNA 2 GPU. And it looks pretty wild. I'm talking AMD actually claims that it supports ray tracing on a phone chip. I guess I'd just say why, but there it is. Unfortunately, the announcement didn't give us much in terms of specs or performance, but luckily some new Geekbench scores have surfaced that show just how fast RDNA 2 can be in a smartphone form factor. For starters, in OpenCL, the Exynos 2200 scored 9143, which is a whopping 50.4% faster than Qualcomm's brand new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and that's when compared to its best reported score. Not only that, but in Vulkan it scored over 20% faster. To top it off, it's only running at 555 MHz, which is likely much lower than the final release product, probably. See, there had been some rumors that there are thermal throttling issues with Samsung's new chip, and given Samsung didn't announce frequency or anything else with the processor, that could be true. So this may be around the final result, but those clocks seem too low. Even so, it's still impressive. Of course, throttling is a bit worrisome given this is literally going in a phone. Time, as always, will tell. Next up for today, if you've been following the channel, which you definitely should to stay caught up on all things gaming hardware, you know that Nvidia announced their very own CPU early last year. But of course, that was just for AI, not a consumer chip or anything like that. Well, the company just announced the establishment of a new group in Israel to lead the development of next-gen Nvidia CPUs. That's right, Nvidia Grace was just the beginning. Nvidia is planning to hire hundreds of engineers for their future CPUs. And that means we'll finally have a new contender for AMD and Intel. Of course, it will be tough to dethrone x86, but with Windows supporting ARM, it might happen. 
Basically, with Intel moving into discrete GPUs and Nvidia moving to CPUs, competition is looking better than ever. And of course, competition is incredibly important for both innovation and keeping prices down. And speaking of prices, I have some great news with today's final story. GPU prices are officially going down. Seriously, it's actually happening. In a new post by 3dcenter.org, who's been following the GPU price trend since the beginning of 2021. Either way, as you can see, prices have been steadily rising since August September after a sharp decrease from their absolute highs back in May. Well, in early January, they showed the first dip, but I didn't want to discuss it just yet given it wasn't a trend and was definitely a small amount. But in their end of month pricing, you can see that it's going down even further, making this an actual trend in the right direction. And what's exciting is that it's shortly after we heard from Nvidia CFO that supplies should get better in Q2 of this year. Of course, while it is going down, it's still well above MSRP, but it's finally moving in the right direction. Not only that, but DigiTimes recently reported that the substrate shortages should subside by mid-2022, and that's been one reason GPU makers haven't been able to catch up to demand. Not only that, but crypto recently crashed hard, which could be one reason for the dip. I'm talking Bitcoin reached below half of its all-time high just a few months ago. And really, like Video Cards mentions, the most recent dip isn't being accounted for, so things should continue to get better. Of course, crypto could easily go back up again, but this could give GPU makers the time they need to catch up to demand. Oh, and while these prices are based in Germany, and Nvidia recently raised the MSRP of their 30 series cards in Europe, 3D Center decided to take the US MSRP and just convert to euros, which means that price hike doesn't make this look better than it is. And as for why Nvidia did it, maybe it's a last ditch effort to capitalize on the GPU prices before they finally normalize. Who knows? So while that does it for today, are you excited that GPU prices are finally beginning to come down? And what about Nvidia making CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!